Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another game. All right. Playing Franco Robles from Philippines. If I get to a thousand ELO, I'm going to reward myself with a new chair or at least fix the one I own. I'm tired of sinking to the ground. the one thing I'd like to fix in my life. So far, so good. Pretty standard game here so far. That move's a bit unconventional. Pin the knight or not pin the knight? I don't think I really want to go for the knight pin since he's locked in his light square bishop. So the light square bishop is going to defend the knight here. Um, bring the light square bishop out here. I'm usually a lot more inclined to play bishop b5 if their bishop comes out to like f5 and then they lock the pawn in. Um, I can play knight d2 or castle here. Trying to remember here. Taking the knight is... Mm, maybe it's the play here? I'm trying to think of the downside of playing knight d2 here. If he doesn't go for the trade. I think if he doesn't go for the trade, the problem is that the pawn takes and then I get forked. So I don't really want to take, or do I want to take and then like go knight e5? I always forget what to do here. I think like c4 is actually um, a decent move here. I kind of want to play a3. To prevent any uh, pieces from coming onto b4. And it's kind of weird, but. Or even c3. I think I'm going to play c3. I want to prevent any pieces from coming out on b4. You want to trade. I'm thinking about what the downside of taking what the e pawn here is. I'm just going to develop. I'm going to just stick to the principles and just play developing moves. Play 
principled Lee. Yeah. I'll get the queen out and connect the rooks here. I don't want to bring the knight out to e5. If we go for the trade. I can fix the pawn and then attack his queen at the same time. Knight e5. I'm debating between rook e1, just getting the rook out to the sort of semi open file here. Are going ninety five, forcing the trade and then fixing the pawn. Forces the queen to move somewhere. Kind of like planting a pawn here on e five too, because it prevents his pawn from going up and letting his bishop come out to h three. Uh, I don't want to go like g5 here. I could go to g5 and try to win this pawn. Let's play like normal people. Yeah. I create a very strong pawn structure here. I think. I think so at least. The question is, question is which pawn to take with. Maybe it doesn't matter too much. Probably bring the rooks out to the E and C files and start to break open on like C4 here. You want to go for the queen trade? I actually kind of don't want to go for the queen trade here because it's going to open up the G file for him. And then if we get an open G file, it's just going to be annoying. So I kind of don't want to initiate the queen trade here. As weird as that is. I don't like the... Uh, rook on the g file there's like all kinds of pinning things that can happen i'm so sick of this chair question is if i don't take his queen like where else do i go you know Hmm, whatever. Try to make it work, I guess. Fully expecting this here.
fully expecting the rook to come out. I guess that way. Interesting. Try to break open the center here. He can still castle queen side. <laughs> yeah. I guess what's annoying about this is that I just opened this situation up. It's a bit annoying, so I think I'm going to bring the rook over in case he does go bishop h3 at some point. Um, if I do have to go pawn g3, I'm not going to lose a rook. So he did just uh, hang a pawn. Either just move over or take the pawn. I think taking the pawn is a bit better. Hmm. I'm just going to unpin the king here. I know bishop h3 was coming next, so it happens like every game, or every time. Um, I'll play this move here, just take whatever I can get. Saw that coming. I want to go c2, b3. Attack this pawn here. I think he's going to stack his... I think he's going to stack his rooks here. It's fine. I can just bring my rook over or just push the pawn up. Not a big deal. Well, we're up a pawn. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Almost. <laughs> um.
Both of his rooks are on light squares. I could go attack his rook, but me. Seems kind of bad. Hmm. I could, I could attack his rooks, but I don't. For some reason, I just don't think it's the play. Could kind of lock this in with pawn f4. I don't know how good that is. Why do I want to play pawn f4 so bad? <laughs> I really want to play pawn f4 for some reason. Maybe I have to do this. And attack the rook that way. Bishop h7 seems kind of like a... Like a one-threaded move. I kind of want to lock this pawn in. Hmm. Like if I go bishop d3, I hang this pawn. Um. This will force his rook back, at least. I have all these squares attacked, so he's going to be forced to fall back. Hmm. I have to start playing faster, too. Yeah, so that forced him back. F3 might have been a mistake. We'll see. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of figured he would do that. Push the pawn up, maybe? I mean, whatever. I'm still up a pawn, so... I guess it's okay. Hmm. 
This I feel like this pawn's gonna be really annoying for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, we expected that. This pawn's loose. Need to protect it or push it up. Don't want to get the rook off of the C file for some reason. So that do? I have back rank made here. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, no, this is okay. Kind of a trap if he takes it. I still have back rank made here. He has to push a pawn up. Ah, damn. Eh, that was really unfortunate. I was really hoping he wouldn't notice that. <laughs> that was a really good move by him. I didn't see that coming. I probably should have just put the king on a dark square there. Oh no. Yeah, it's not looking good. Thing is, if he takes, I can just recapture. It's fine. I have two defenders here. If he pushes the pawn up, so be it. Oh, that loses a bishop. I bring the king out here? Is that just like a death sentence? <laughs> I think I want to move the king towards the center of the board. Um, okay.
probably losing a pawn here, but I could trade off, but I don't think it's better. I'd rather keep the rook around. I'd probably just push the pawn up here. Hmm, going for the pawn. Yeah, it's a bit rough. Hmm. I could trade here. And then it would just be a, a bishop first rook endgame, which I don't think I'll win. Um. Take the pawn and lose mine. I don't really want to do that. I could just go attack with the king. Although I don't really like having these two on the same rank. Um. King e3 or take the pawn. Uh, I'm going to just go attack the rook. I might regret that. But... And I think that was good for me. Could block that in. I don't think it's very good though. <laughs> Probably safer to just move here. Yeah. Well, we're even again. He just has a lot of time. Getting forked here. Mm. Mm. Not sure why, but for some reason I just feel like that's the move. My intuition has never let me down in an endgame. Ever, ever, never. I'm losing this pawn, then he's attacking my bishop. So we're going to have to run it back somewhere. Yep. Ah, there we go. Joy. Ah, man. I always, I always lose some crap like that <laughs> in the end game. Uh, feels rough, bro. Feels rough. Man. Yeah, it's pretty GGable. Dang. Uh, oh well, what can you do? And now he wins this pawn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
I mean, if, if he takes either, like, if he takes this pawn, it's really bad for him. Obviously. Yeah. Mm. I'm losing my pass pawn here. That's the problem. Yeah, losing the past pawn. What's crazy is that I almost have mate. Is it even possible to stalemate this? Mm. Actually, really close to a stalemate. Eh. Mm, unfortunate. Yeah, bummer. Bummer deal. His uh, bishop g2 move or whatever that was, bishop uh, f3, bishop g2, that was basically my biggest mistake. Keeping my king on a light square. And he found checkmate there. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I want to see... Ooh, six blunders. Oops. No, 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 no. Abort. I meant to go to game review. Where did it fall apart? Oh, I forgot to give him the GG. He played well. Um, it's right around here. Yeah, I should have just seen that he had the check here. So I got too excited about getting the back rank made here and just forgot to do that. But yeah, using the king to protect there. That would have been the play. Hmm. And then I almost had an advantage here. So protecting this pawn was bad. Protecting the D pawn was better. Ouch, she left her pawn hanging. Well, <laughs> didn't I have to let one of them hang, coach? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it was kind of lost at that point. Once his rooks got on my side of the board, it was just very hard to... Very hard to come back. Okay, why would he hang his pawn like that? This this engine move doesn't make any sense. Attack the pawn. What? Why would he just... Why would he just throw the pawn away like that? I don't get that. There's probably some crazy tactic there, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Rook b3. Okay. Anyways, well, yeah, no, GG, he played really well. He played really well. Uh, I'm trying to think about, like, what else I would have done really different here. Yeah, c4. Coach is just screaming to get c4 on the board. I considered the trades here, but I didn't want to ultimately let him get his queen out on g5. 
I was trying to avoid that. It looks like taking the queen was the best move here. That's good to know, at least. So breaking open the center was not the best move. Hmm. I'm glad f3 was a decent move. Okay. Yeah, so really just came down to this one easy check that could have been avoided. Honestly, probably could have played... Rook f1. Avoided that as well. Yeah. So I basically just failed to notice this one check here. And um, yeah, that's really where it fell, fell apart, I'd say. So uh, overall, a good game. I'm pretty happy with it. Didn't notice one move. Um, I almost wonder if another oh, Rook was there. I was thinking get the king onto a dark square, but I couldn't. LOL. Um, yeah, so there was really only, only one viable move. Well, two viable moves here. Protect F3, essentially. Cool. Well, hey, GG. Thanks, guys, for watching. Also, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, hope you enjoy your Black Friday. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. And um, I'm thankful for you guys. Thankful for our little community here that we have on the channel. And uh, for all the people that tune and watch and uh, kind of support what I'm doing here and what we're doing here trying to get better at chess. So thank you guys. I appreciate it and see you in the next one.